One of the most common questions I receive is, how do I know an interview went well? You finish the interview process, you think it did good, a job offer never comes. Or you think you did horrible, and then a job offer comes, it's confusing. So that's what I'm gonna get into here today. The first indicator that an interview went well is your references were contacted. So HR can either reach out to you and say, hey, would you be okay? They'll ask permission. Will you be okay if we contact your references? Or sometimes they will just contact your references. And the only way that you actually find out is the person you listed as a reference, they'll let you know like, hey, the Department of Justice just called me, what's going on? And this is a strong indicator because it's a time consuming process and HR in that federal agency will not take the time to contact every single candidate's reference. Only the person that they're actually seriously considering hiring. It could be the top one or the top two that they're seriously considering they will go through the effort in contacting references. This does not mean that you should start celebrating because you're getting a job offer or there's a 100% guarantee that they're going to hire you because it's not. But this is a strong indicator that you did very well during the interview. Now, the next thing is during the interview, this is mainly in person. During the interview, the hiring manager, the person interviewing you will show you where you could potentially be working at. So you have the interview, you stand up, you, you give your pleasantries, well, thank you very much, you know, say all that stuff. And then on the way out, they actually show you like, hey, that desk over there, that cubicle or that office, that's where the person for this job will be working. If they go through the effort to do that, that is a strong indicator. Now I'm speaking from experience on this one because I was at a job interview and at the end, the lady pointed at the desk and said, the person that works, the person that we're gonna pick will be working right there. That allowed me to see like, okay, I can envision myself there, right? There's a window here, there's a coffee machine there. I kinda like this, I like this situation. So if that ever happens to you, take that as a strong indicator that your interview went very well. This doesn't just stop at the office. If your building has any amenities, you might be shown those as well. So the hiring manager actually took me down to the gym and they showed me the gym. It was a pretty decent gym. And after that, they actually took me up to the rooftop and they said, listen, here, we have a uh, 4th of July activities, right? Every now and again, the families, they can come up here. You can enjoy the view. They had a view of the Capitol building. It was a really nice view. It was almost like a selling point. So when you're starting to get the tour, if it gets to the point where you're getting the tour, you're getting shown where the cafeteria is at and everything else, you can rest assured that this interview is going pretty well. Another one, which might be a little bit more uncommon, but there are times where a hiring manager will ask you, do you have any other job offers? First time I heard this, I was taken aback. I was like, what? Can they even ask me that? But I was asked point blank, do you have any other job offers that you're entertaining right now? And the truth is I had a couple of job offers. So I told him the truth. Now you obviously in everything with life, you have the option to tell the truth or you had the option not to tell the truth. The risk in telling the truth is the hiring manager might completely disregard you at that point. So say they interviewed six people and you're number one, but you say you have job offers. So that might lead the hiring manager to look more at the number two person. You still want to be truthful, but there's certain things that you do not have to reveal if you don't feel comfortable. You can simply say, I'm still in the job searching process, or maybe I applied to a couple of other jobs. I have a few interviews I'm going after. So you don't have to put all the cards on the table, so to speak. The next one is that the hiring manager or the people on the interview panel, they will look you up on LinkedIn. Now, I don't think they're supposed to be doing this, but you can tell who's looking at you on LinkedIn. If you have a LinkedIn account, anytime somebody clicks on your face, on your profile, it'll let you know, it'll give you a notification. Sometimes you need to have the premium option or they won't show you. It'll say somebody looked at you, but it won't tell you their name. Other times you can actually see their name. Also, you know the names of everybody who interviewed you because HR sends you an email and it says, this person will be interviewing you along with this person, this person. So a lot of times they give you their full names. So if you see somebody that was interviewing you, say it was Sarah Anderson, and then a couple of days later, you look on your LinkedIn and you see Sarah Anderson looked at your profile, that shows interest. That shows interest on who you were. So it could be used at times for a lot of different things. And 
that's another reason why you probably should have your LinkedIn profile updated and ready to go. Now, I'm not telling you that every government employee does this because they don't, but it has happened in the past and it's another indicator that there's continued interest in who you are as a candidate. Another one is the hiring manager will hand you their card, their business card, their contact information, and they will say, if you do not hear back from HR in a week, then I want you to call me. Now, this has happened to me in the past. This is a huge indicator because this is basically letting you know the hiring manager is gonna make their selection. Something could go wrong between the hiring manager and the human resource agency processing that job offer. So he's essentially letting you know that if you do not hear back because HR is moving too slow, let me know. So you don't slip through the cracks. Now, when this happened to me, he told me call him if I didn't receive a job offer in one week. I didn't call him. I had another job offer already lined up, but it actually took the human resource department. It took them almost three weeks. It was about two and a half weeks to actually give me the job offer. Even though he was excited about giving me the job offer, it didn't matter because the ball was in the human resource court and they were just taking a long time. Now, if you're watching this and you're still having a hard time getting interviews, or maybe you're not getting enough interviews, you want more, well, you could be disqualifying yourself during the hiring process. And if you want to know the ways you could be disqualifying yourself, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.